So you trying to play like this? Let me get this kill. Let me get that penta. Let me get that penta. Yeah, let me get a penta kill. Give me the mother penta kill. Who does it? And drops a hundred on him. All right, I'm gonna show you how it's done real quick. Yo, it's your boy Big Don Skills, and I'm about to teach you how to play Talon Flame in my new Pokemon Unite Guide series. This is gonna be the first Pokemon in this, and quite possibly my favorite Pokemon in the entire game. If you wanna play like that first clip you saw, you're definitely in the right place. Now, you wanna know who is Talon Flame? Talon Flame is gonna be a high mobility speedster who excels at laning, jungling, assassinating characters and making huge plays for your team. He has a really high damage output, but has low defense and isn't very good in the long run in a team fight. He makes up for this low defense and low health by having some of the best mobility moves in the entire game. Talonflame is classified as a speedster. It starts off at Fletchling at level one, evolving into Fletchender at level five, and then finally the big boy himself, Talonflame, at level seven. He has a fairly fast and consistent evolution chain, so you're not gonna really have a problem getting into those later levels and getting to that Talonflame. This makes him an ideal candidate for jungling because he can level up very fast, be very strong early on, and make huge damage plays all early on. Pokemon Unite, every character starts off with two basic moves that eventually evolves into two sets of other moves. Now with Talonflame, you can run Acrobatics or Peck. Both of these moves are very good and you'll realize that some of his later kit are essentially reflections of these moves. They're both very good, very fast, high mobility moves. One thing I wanna point out is that the move Acrobatics can be used to manually jump over walls just like this. So if you're jungling as this character, you can get a very early start on some of your targets. As I just mentioned, Acrobatics is a very, very mobile move that covers a lot of distance, a lot of range, and it can be controlled manually. You'll see that he actually dives, hits the Pokemon multiple times, puts them in position to really harass the player, right? This is an amazing move to start off with early on. It puts you in the right place. It can also be used to escape, jump over walls, or it can be used to engage. So one of the most versatile moves in the game and is always gonna be something you appreciate. You'll see as he jumps over the wall, you can use this over any wall or any surface that allows you to do so. You'll just leap over and you can either run away from danger or flank somebody unexpectedly. Peck on the other hand is very easy to explain. It'll attack anything within its radius. You'll see that it's not able to go through this wall right here, but if there's a target within range, it'll always connect to it. Very simple move, use this for engaging, do a little bit of damage, start the fight off right. Very, very basic move. At level five, the evolution comes through and Fletchender is born. He gets access to two moves, Flame Charge or Aerial Ace. For Flame Charge, you'll see right here that this move, very easy to control, shoots yourself in one direction and gives you a light speed boost afterwards. Now, once you get the upgraded version, it'll enable your moves to do what's called true damage. And that ignores the defense stats of the Pokemon you're attacking. But for the sake of this guide, this move is great for positioning. It's great for engaging. It's great for phasing through walls like I showed you earlier with acrobatics. You'll see me going back and forth just to showcase how mobile this character is. And he allows you to make mistakes and sometimes jump out of those situations. At level seven, this character becomes a flying god. Learning my favorite move in the game, fly, it launches you in the air just like that and enables you to do the cheesiest things in the entire game. As soon as you hit that ZR, you're invincible in the air. You can control where you fly and upon landing, you are set up in prime position to do whatever you want. This move is absolutely amazing. I personally believe it's the best move in the entire game. You'll see, as I use this move, I can use it to go over surfaces. I can use this to make plays and attack the Dreadnought. I can steal Zapdos. I can steal Rotom. I can use it to escape. 
This move can literally do everything except for heal. So this is an absolutely busted move. You'll see right here, I just engaged a Dreadnought just to kind of showcase, you know, what you can do with this. This move is absolutely amazing. And I'll just keep saying it. It's probably the best move in the entire game. You'll absolutely love this move. It's fast. You can use it to chase down Pokemon. It does everything in the entire world. And now we move on to Aerial Ace. This is the second move that you can learn beside Charge Flame. So you're going to have to pick one or the other. Aerial Ace is essentially Peck, but on steroids. It works the same exact way where it'll attack whatever's in the area. And it is a very easy move. It also makes your next attack a boosted attack. Now, you can use this later in conjunction with Brave Bird. And I'll show you why that's so good. Just like how Aerial Ace is the big brother of Peck, Brave Bird is the big, big brother <laughs> of acrobatics. As you see, the range that you can angle this move is absolutely ridiculous. Look at the range that you can just engage, disengage with. Now, this move actually has a little bit of recoil, meaning that it's going to damage you when you hit. You'll see that I took a little bit of damage right there. But man, this move is so powerful and it combos with Aerial Ace. If you do a boost attack shortly after using Brave Bird, it will reset the cooldown of your Aerial Ace or your Flame Charge. This is crucial because this allows you to literally combo multiple Aerial Aces or Flame Charges, which you'll just see me constantly do on this dummy. Attack, boosted attack, gets the Aerial Ace back. So you're just able to constantly jump in, get a boosted attack, which does more damage, and it's every three basic attacks. You can aerial ace <laughs> or flame charge, do whatever you want. You could do whatever you want. Last but not least, we have the Unite move from Talon Flame, which is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> he just yeets himself across the map. You may have already been hit by this, but this move is absolutely incredible. One of the best alts in the entire game. You can use this alt to push Pokemon away. You can throw Rotom away. You can use this to steal Zapdos, use this to steal objectives. It's one of the most versatile moves in the game. You can use it to run away if you really need to. It is such an important move when used correctly. You wanna think of this ultimate as either a get off me move, or a way of setting up your teammates for a good position or even better a stealing tool one of the best ultimates in the game and it comes back very fast it has a very very quick cooldown always use this when you get the opportunity because that'll not only save you but it'll definitely save your teammates talon flame is one of the most versatile pokemon in the game that you'll really like if you like fast paced style of gameplay now, for my recommendations on its held items, you can run a lot of things with Talonflame. I've been going through many, many different builds, and my favorite right now has to be this Score Shield, Attack Weight, and Scope Lens. It allows him to score without getting interrupted because he's already fast and mobile. You combine that with Goal Getter, which increases your speed for scoring goals, and you can score hundreds and hundreds of points. Combine this with the crit rate, of scope lens and your basic attacks will do a lot more damage whenever those crits do decide to land it's a nice extra bonus damage i like to them but it is not required now attack weight combined with the goal getter and the score shield allows him to score so many goals early and to get a huge attack buff that can make him change the pace of the game from even early on talon flame is definitely one of the funnest pokemon in the game and i think you'll definitely enjoy also have a video that shows the crazy gameplay at the beginning of the video, which I think is a must watch if you want to know even more about Talon Flame. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop the like, don't forget to hit the sub button, and let me know what Pokemon you'd like to see next in this series. I'm thinking about going to do Snorlax next. We'll start with Pokemon that I use a lot and then we'll transition. But I appreciate every single one of y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the content. And y'all have a good rest of y'all day. This is Big Don Skill signing out. Deuces.